It's an honor for us to be here one more time. So we came out to give God some praise. And amen. I, I thank God for the Sunday school lesson on this morning. And I, I thank God for Minister Dwayne again. He, uh, he showed us how to get to the web page. Amen. And showed us how to get around. And he took us to, and it's easy to remember, it's LeroyWilliams.org. Amen. LeroyWilliams.org. Amen. And so you can read all about us and watch some of the videos and listen to some of the songs and uh, donate to the ministry and purchase some of the songs from our very own Minister Latoya. And so uh, we thank God for all of that on today. So at this portion I won't keep us very long. Amen. But we came out and we're, we're thankful that we're small in number and we're able to come out on today and give God the praise inside the house. Amen. Amen. We're, we're mindful of what's going on outside the walls and we're mindful of what's going on in, in other areas of this world. And so we're, our prayers are going forth that God will make a way out of no way. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. And he's a loving God, a caring God. Those with your Bibles, go with me to a very familiar passage of Scripture. And I, I believe it's, it's talking about days such as this. Amen. Romans 8th chapter, and I'll read from the 35th verse. When you find it, say amen. Hallelujah. Those that are able, would you stand with me as we read the word? And it reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I want you to turn to a neighbor and just Say these words. I believe in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's give God a great big hand praise on today. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us, you know, we can make a lot of noise. We get by ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, we came out to make a little noise for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Here in the book of Romans, I, I want to back up, just read a, a little bit. Amen. Amen. As the man of God began to write, amen, in the 28th verse, he says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. He is talking about us on today. He went on to say in the 29th verse, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. 
Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us. Amen. He's talking about us, y'all. Who can be against us? Amen. He's saying if God is on our side, amen, who can be against us? Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Amen. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect. It is God that justifieth. Amen. Who can talk about you, criticize you, point their finger at you, and who can judge you? Amen. Hallelujah. They can't do it. Amen. The word says in verse 34, Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us. Amen. That right hand represents that authority, that power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Many times I look at this verse, amen, and it reminds me that God made me a little bit different. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For most folks, that right hand is that strong hand. Amen. Amen. But God kind of flipped things around, and, and God don't make no mistakes. Amen. 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 So my left side is my, my strong side. And I thank God for my daughter, Minister LaToya. Amen. Many times she'll sit down at my left side. She said, I'm on the right side. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm on your strong side. Amen. I'm on the powerful side. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But I thank God. Amen. The word let us know. Amen. Can't nobody condemn us. Amen. It's Christ that died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word lets us know that if God, God, amen, gave up his son, Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah, that we may live. Saints of God, somebody need to claim it today. We're going to live, amen, hallelujah. Christ died that we would live. Oh, yes, he was talking about the spirit, amen, but he's talking about, hallelujah, God's elect, and we are God's elect, amen. Amen, who shall separate us? Here's the question. From the love of Christ, amen, amen. The love of Christ. Many look at this verse and some say, they, they say, well, he's talking about my love to Christ. Amen. They said, because Paul would soon say, I am persuaded. So they'll say, he's talking about our love, how, how we love Christ. Amen. And I, I want to say you got it halfway right. Amen. We have to accept Christ's love for us and, and love him back. Amen. But hallelujah, it all lies in the love of Christ. Amen. It's what Christ did for us. It's nothing that we can do, amen, to save ourselves. Amen. Amen. It's nothing that we can do. We're not strong enough, amen, to hold on to to Jesus. He has to hold us. Amen. And the devil can't snatch us out of his hand. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all about the Lord. Amen. Amen. We look at this virus situation, but hallelujah, we all are in the hands of the Lord. It's all about the Lord. Amen. It's not about the scientists and the doctors and, and the nurses, and we thank God for them, but it's all about the Lord. Amen. The men of God begin to write, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Mm, some of us done dealt with tribulation and the word starts out with amen hallelujah the troubles amen of this world amen hallelujah amen somebody sang a song that says I'm so glad that trouble don't last always amen hallelujah who should separate us from the love of Christ yeah, tribulation mm, or distress or persecution or famine a nakedness, a peril, a sword. Amen. Somebody said, well, you know, hallelujah, what does that nakedness mean? 
Amen. Many times when the word deals with nakedness, we're stripping off these outer clothes and we're dealing with the underclothes. But, amen, hallelujah, when, when Peter saw Jesus uh, on the shoreline and recognized it was Jesus, uh, they say he stripped off his clothes and he jumped in naked. Amen. But he had on some underclothes. Uh, amen. But all of us, we stand before God uh, naked. Amen. Hallelujah. He see through all the clothes. Uh, he look at us down to the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. He knows all about us. He knows the good. He knows the bad. Some folks start trying to talk about Santa Claus. How he know every Santa Claus don't know nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. They have to make up a man. Amen. And call him Santa Claus and try to relate him to somebody that really lived. Jesus lived and he's still alive. He knows all about us. There's nothing, saints of God, that can separate us from God's love. Hallelujah. We hold on to the Lord. We touch him. We do all that he called us to do. We touch the hem of his garment. Amen. Hallelujah. But if God wouldn't allow that, we couldn't even do that. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all about the Lord. The word says... As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. Look at what's going on around us. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Amen. But then the word says, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. Now the man of God is saying it for himself. Amen. Now he's doing his part. He says, for I am persuaded. Oh, yes, it's too late. If somebody trying to turn me around, it's too late. I, I'm persuaded. Amen. I know that I know that I know that Christ is, is alive and that he's real. I am persuaded. Amen. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present. Mm, 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 the things that's present right now, nor things to come nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I love you, saints. We're about to go home. I thank God for the church. Amen. Some are practicing safe living. Amen. 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 Some got the mask in the, in the gloves. Amen. And that's wisdom. We don't know what that is out there. Amen. We don't know where it come from. Amen. But all things. Amen. Saints of God. The Lord can use anything to further the gospel. There's folks on Facebook right now. They, they, they praying like they never prayed before. Some are giving their favorite scriptures like never before. Some can't get to church, the church building. And some folks are having Bible study at home like never before. God's word is going forward. Amen. Our faith, amen, hallelujah, has been activated. Some folks been acting like they ain't even a Christian up until now. Their faith has been activated. We got a phone call the other day and said my auntie uh, had the virus and her daughter had the virus and, and the other daughter had quarantined herself, herself and her child. Amen. Then our cousin in Germany, he had the virus. Amen. Hallelujah. But then we got another report. Amen. Amen. That A.T. went home. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. She still got oxygen, but she's still alive. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to claim our loved ones. I, I need somebody to give God a hand praise. It's all about him. There's nothing we can do but call on his holy name. Amen. God will make a way out of no way. Amen. I'm thankful on today. I'm thankful for the church. Thankful for the body of Christ. And of course, these are walls. These are floors. The true church are God's people. Amen.